Based on first impression, I would say that Kampala is the busiest city I've ever visited here in Africa. Four years ago, Baby Maya was in the street of Kampala. Just to tell you guys that Kampala is one of the most busiest city in the whole of Africa. But four years later, I came back. Is it the same thing? To me or not because i feel like there are so many entrepreneurs in this country if i want to do video in this country probably i might not finish even in a hundred years because everywhere i go i see ordinary ugandans doing business and the business are flourishing so this time around i'm not gonna move around all the time and tell you guys that kampala is the business city i'm gonna do it along with youtubers and anytime you see any different youtuber in this video you have to do me a favor and subscribe to their youtube channel because this is a collab that i'm doing i'm trying to do this just for us to work together to achieve one common goal by bringing you guys africa to the world Even drizzling right now. It's drizzling right now. And I know and believe that in the next two minutes it will be shining. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think I need to know about Kampala. Kampala city is a very crazy city, uh, very chaotic, a full Whoa. of different people with different cultures. You're going to experience all that mix today. Really? Yes. So where are we starting from then? Uh, so right now where we are, this is uptown, these are like the corporate areas, you know, not too busy. This, this is nice not city. too busy? No, 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 no. <laughs> are you kidding no, me? No, 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 this is not too busy. You can oh. hold your phone and vlog by the roadside. This is chill. Oh, there's some places I cannot hold my phone. You have to like hold it with two hands. Yeah, so that they don't, you know, try to take it away from you. So if this place is not too busy, then what is here then? So these are mainly office areas. There are very many corporate buildings, banks, hotels around this area. Yeah. So, but we are going to take you downtown where it's more fun. Let me just say wow. it's more fun. But I, I want to tell you guys something. This is the Kampala I've never seen on the media. You've not seen this before? No, never. Like the <laughs> greens, the That's skyscrapers, the high rise. I mean, yeah. everything. Yeah. Who is that? That's our first president, by the way. Oh, wow. Yes, Kampala. Okay, so we gained independence in 1960. Obviously, mm. Kabaka Manga, this is within Buganda Kingdom, became our first president. So, obviously, that's why we have that monument right in the middle of the city. That's incredible. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You know what? Mm. I really want to explore more of Kampala. Yeah. And um, you all need to explore with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are going well, to take you around. What is one thing that I need to look look for, look out for? Obviously, the Rolex, uh, the street food downtown, the crazy market. We are going to take you as well. Obviously, a border border ride. I sit in a taxi. I saw you being a conductor four years ago. Like Kampala, Kampala. Kampala, Kampala, Kampala. You going to Kampala? Kampala, Kampala, Kampala. <laughs> Maybe we can recreate that shot again. But I, I would love to do that again. again. No, I would love to do that again. <laughs> Right now, I think you can see the city is getting busier. <laughs> From uptown to this side. So it, it, it's like the more you descend the hill, yeah. the more the city gets busier. Exactly. That's super crazy, and man. Actually, you might find it chaotic, but here in Kampala, we call it organized chaos. <laughs> I love that, man. Organized chaos. I, I've man. never seen any organized chaos before. <laughs> it's my first time, man. Yeah, man. Many border borders. Many. And the lower we slope down, yeah. you'll find many border borders. The more we slow down? Yeah. Are you kidding the me? The more border borders you'll find. Eh? <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. So right now we are going to slope down to, Ma to, to Nakasero Market, okay. the oldest market in Kampala City. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. All right. But how, how do you guys cross the road, man? It's ah, please, not... let me help you. Let you me, want to help me? Let, let me take your hand. Let me take ah, your hand. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Here, you don't ah. need to wait for the car. The you Hey, no, bro, look at that. <laughs> hey, no. What am I? No, hey. Oh, Jesus, man. Stop. <laughs> People are 
already noticing the big man in town. Ah, people are calling me and I'm like, no way. So here, you don't need to wait for the cars because they will not give you way. Wow. You need to, to, to come through. If there is no zebra crossing, you just need to come through. How do you cross? So no zebra crossing. There are zebra crossings, but at that point there was no zebra crossing. So we just cross through, the cars will give way. Man, that was scary, man. <laughs> okay, so, let's go. Hey, please, let me pass. No, I'm with you, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, this is super crazy, man. Can I say Kampala is a crazy city? <laughs> crazy, but we love it. Oh, I love that, man. Yeah, man. Ah. Uh, man, I thought I was going to die. No, no, the way no. the cars were moving, the motorbikes, you don't know which one to swipe. With me, you can't die. You can't die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're in some fun, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's rain now. Uh huh. This side is very, very special to us. It's, oh, okay. Uh, this is the motorized corridor. I think you can see it's recently oh. constructed. Eh? Motor a non motorized corridor. Okay. Let's get here. Down here, you will see it very well. It will look very, very beautiful this side. So it was designed mm -hmm. only for pedestrians. No vehicles, no motorcycles. But as you know, many border borders, many people are stubborn in Kampala. You'll find many cars and border borders using it, like you see. It's supposed to be a non-motorized corridor. Very ah. beautiful, very green. It starts from there, and then it stretches up to the side of Namirembe Hill. How do you find it? Whoa, that's so good. So this is more like there shouldn't be any car, no motorbike. Yes. Just for only pedestrians. But why are people still riding bikes here? As I've told you, people are stubborn. <laughs> the the government puts many things in place, but people spoil them and sometimes they're stubborn. They don't follow the, the, the law sometimes. You know, I love the fact that these guys are planting trees within yeah, the city. Very, very the, You can even sit, enjoy yourself right here, man. Mm. Wow. Yeah, a lot this of is... greener around here. You know, for fresh air in Kampala. See, motorbikes are not allowed, but they are still here. Yeah, they're not allowed in this stretch, but they're still here. Cool. Wow. Come and say hello. <laughs> say what am I? I see so many people saying what am I, man? Yeah. Like, I like your content on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, man. Wow, it's good to see you. Me too. What will you say about Kampala? As you see, Kampala is very beautiful. Like, it's a part of Africa. Oh. As we, as we all know. But are you are you doing business right now, or you're working? I'm, I'm, I'm working with a cleaning company, but I want to be you. You are one of my inspire. I want to become a YouTuber like, like you. me. Yeah. <laughs> have you started a channel already? I, I haven't, but I want to get equipment. So. Oh, please. What so, equipment do you want to use? I I I like uh, I like like I like GoPro. I like Give it, give, uh, give your number to him. I'm gonna buy you a GoPro. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah? I'm, yeah, buy, I'm gonna buy you a new GoPro. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, and man. you have to create a YouTube channel. Okay. I, 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 uh? I want to be. I want you to be my friend. Because I, want... I saw you from there. Uh huh. I, I, I just because I have. I oh. Have, I, I have also my tablet here, so that I'm in phone. This is my tablet. Whoa. Yeah. This is where you watch my videos from? Yeah. All you are, all your YouTube videos when you are in Rwanda, where, where, I, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, I'm going to send uh, money to him. Make sure you buy the GoPro and we're going to bring it to you. Okay. All right? Yeah, I, I want your number. I want one. So I'll give it to you. you can chat on I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. Even on Twitter. On, on Twitter? Twitter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. The first shop in Kampala okay. was here. It was wow. uh, it was established by an Indian settler, Aldina Vizram, okay. in 1903. Best shop, <laughs> first shop in Kampala. Yeah, and later it grew into a big area. I think right now you can see many buildings around. Eh? Yeah. But it looks so new, though. This place is so beautiful. <laughs> like it looks so new to me. Actually. This is one of the developments that happened during there's COVID. There's a car behind you. I thought there's no car supposed to be here. Yeah, they're not supposed to be here. I told you earlier, this is a non-motorized corridor, only for pedestrians. But as you can see, these guys are encroaching on us, <laughs> <laughs> on our space. Eh? When was this constructed? 
um, it's one of the developments which happened during the COVID time. You know, the world was on lockdown, okay. but in Uganda, the government was putting up developments. In Kampala, most developments, uh, like two or three years back, mm -hmm. happened during COVID. We have many roads which were constructed during that time. Really? Many things put in place by the government during that time. So as people are hiding their houses, the government was developing the city. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess the people of Kampala yeah. need to go and hide. Again, yeah, actually, for, the, for, 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 for the government to build a new city. <laughs> By that time, Kampala was like a ghost town. Really? Yeah, so constructions was, were uninterrupted. Now I understand why you say this place is chaotic. Yeah. Even, it's so chaotic that the government cannot even develop the, <laughs> cannot even develop the city. Have you noticed one thing? Mm. I think the people of um, Uganda or people living in Kampala mm. are so entrepreneurial. Very entrepreneurial. Actually, we are the most entrepreneurial people in the whole world. Wow. Yeah. Facts. Uh, uh, Facts. Yeah. And have you seen that most of them are doing retail business? Yes. This whole building is a, it's a commercial building for retailing, right? Yeah, yeah, people yeah. People are selling bags, people bags. are selling clothes, people are selling phones. A lot of stuff inside there. That's so crazy. By the way, by this time you would find many roadside vendors. But they were recently evicted from the roads. Okay. They were banned, but you would find a lot of them. <laughs> we we'll stop along the road. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Tell me, bro. That's a roadside preacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I tell you that it's 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 the same everywhere in Africa, will you believe it? I want. I believe you, bro, because I've seen it on videos. <laughs> exactly <laughs> the same way. What is he doing? He's preaching, right? He's preaching, yeah. And I think he's gonna collect an offering. People give willingly. Money. They exactly. give willingly. It's he, just like that in Ghana. Yeah, he doesn't collect. People just pass by and give willingly. Give to support. The work oh, of God. The work of God. Yeah, man. That's amazing, man. Mm. So we have to go to the market now, yeah? Yeah, let's go to the market. Mm. All right. Are you ready to enjoy our fruits? Some Ugandan fruits? Ugandan fruits? Yeah. Do you have fruits specifically for Ugandans? Yes. yes, bro. We have fruits native to the country here, which is... Okay. I might I might see the fruits and people be like, oh, we have those everywhere around the world. But those are just variants. For instance, we have jackfruit native to Uganda. We have... Uh, a lot of them mangoes native to the country. So let's go. Bro? Yeah. Ghana, we have mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> Those are variants of Ghana. <laughs> Why, why is this market so special? It's so special because this is where you get the best fruits and the best food. They get everything straight from the garden, straight up to this market. Really? That is why everything is organic in Nakasero market. And it is known to be one of the biggest outdoor markets in Uganda. Wow. Yeah. See, I cannot get used to how busy Kampala is. Yeah. Like everyone. Hey, Niho. This is This is Jungo and me. Yes. Ah uh, yeah, All right, so, whoa, man, how do you guys get used to this? I, I can't even find a place to walk, you know. We are so used because I think we have stayed in Uganda like for so long. For so long. Yeah. So it's like you can't walk in pe you can't walk in pairs then. You One can. You can. How? You can. You have to squeeze yourself. You have to make sure you you also move on that pace of. What am I? That yeah. Pass. What am I? I'm teacher Peter. Teacher TV Africa. I always follow you on youtube really yeah nice to when see I was looking for you i was last week i was in south africa i was going to come together and look for you now you i'm here great job. thank you, you. Great job. thank you and uh, thank you for inspiring africa thank you for inspiring us uh on teachers tv africa you have inspired us a lot what do you do on the channel on the channel we basically upload content of education and uh, teaching teachers and training uh, learners and also teachers. So, if you look at our content, we have also contributed a lot of inspiration in the content. Wow, that's a great one. Yes, and uh, I don't know what's your program like today because <laughs> you deserve lunch. <laughs> ah! You deserve lunch. Wow. Uh, uh, it's nice. a great job, Very honestly. Yeah. You find that most of us, uh, we talk about Africa, in the negative way. Exactly. We are depicting it in a negative way, but at least you have told the story. Yes. I believe in one thing that you are doing right. If you don't tell our story, the world will tell it. And when they are telling you, they will tell it in a way that benefits them. 
personally in Uganda, I'm a, an award winner. I was voted as the top 40 under 40 young influential leaders. Wow. I voted as a, among the top teachers in the country. I'm also under so many US programs, whereby I always represent teachers. Last, last year I was representing teachers in the US. Mm. Last month I've been representing teachers in South Africa. This month, last week only. Wow. In South Africa. But I believe, uh, and I was also, I found so many Ghanaians. I was telling them about what they might, and most of them are saying, we know what they might. <laughs> so, oh. thank you for telling the African story. Oh. I think this is my best day. Wow. Your best day? At, at our office, all the time when we are looking for the inspiration, we tell them about what they might. All hey. the time. <laughs> all the time. We tell them about what they might. I, I have to see when 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 the ch our channel went down. I didn't know that the channel went down. So uh, a colleague from office that works on our video sent me a channel and he tell me my channel. Oh, our teacher said you He told you, teacher Peter, your channel, your channel what the man has gone down. I said uh, what? <laughs> so they know that uh, they know that. What the man my channel. Is channel, my channel. <laughs> I love you, man. Like, you know, when I get a chance to meet you, people that watches my video in person, all I can say is I love you too. Because I know you guys love and I appreciate what I do, and I don't get a chance to meet you in person. So seeing you, that's why you know, I'm giving you all the chance to talk to them. Exactly. And then the other thing that you have inspired us. Currently, we are also trying to see how can we reach out to Africa, basically in the area of education, in the lines that you do. And uh, if you have also a chance, we have a community school in Machi. Where is that? Just like uh, two kilometers from here. We always tell them that there is an inspiration. Like, and at least you have inspired so many people. And wow. finally, keep it up. One Thank time you. in one of the videos, say said that you would like to retire. But don't retire from this. <laughs> Please tell him, tell him. Don't retire from this. I believe the terrain may not be fair. Yeah. May not be just, but don't retire. Yeah. Because uh, the direct inspiration, the indirect inspiration is far better than, and it is far than even the direct inspiration. Mm. So, uh, like, if you inspire me, and I'm a person who is managing, I manage over 5,000 teachers. Can you imagine? Wow. Yes over 5,000 teachers. So if you inspire me, and I also send the same inspiration to all those teachers who are under our organization and under our program, you know what that means? So that is transforming Africa from a different point of view. So don't think of retiring. Just think of making this a household mark. How can we transform Africa? <laughs> Thank you. Let me give you a handshake. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is it, is, it is, it, is it only fruits they sell here? No, there are also fruit, uh, foods, but it is known to be the biggest fruit market in Uganda. Oh, okay, because yeah. what I'm seeing is fresh fruit. Exactly, and straight from fresh, the garden. Fresh veggies, man. Yes. Wow, look at that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you guys have this here? Yeah. The sour sap? Yes, we have the sour sap as well. That's so cool, man. Yeah. You see, like, I feel like I can live in Uganda for the rest of my life. You can, for sure. Because I have all the ingredients that you have it in Ghana, we have it here to make the Ghana meal in Uganda. Wow, that's nice. Woo! We also have plantain. You have plantain? Yes. Ah. It's gonja in my language. Okay, yeah, that's okra, man. Yeah, okra. Jeez! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> it, like, Africa is just one country. Exactly. That people need to understand that yeah. we are just the same people. Like, yeah. if you go to Ghana, yeah. you will see the same veggies. If you go to Nigeria, you see Congo, everywhere you see the same veggies, man. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> they are not happy about that then, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So is there some space here? There's no squeezing now. Because you are told me, why is it that everywhere you have to but, well, struggle? But, but, but why, why is this place, there's no, like it's so free like that? Because this is like a pathway, like oh. pedestrians can use this same road, even cars, but especially pedestrians, people who are coming from the markets. Okay. Did you know that Nakasero has two sections? No. It has the fruit market and the food market, then it has where they sell the utensils. Now this is the other 
section. The other side. Yes, it is all in Akasero Market. Oh, but so I, you find everything here that you want in our home. The fruits are so fresh. Exactly. And are, are they affordable? They are very affordable. Very affordable. Very, very affordable. I think we need to try and buy a banana, maybe. Yes. Let me, they are let very me affordable. see. Um, but if you are a foreigner and you want to come to Uganda, please don't show them that you don't know the prices. Don't show them. At least you ask the local. Because they might hype you up. Like the prices might be high. Okay. Once they know that you are a foreigner. Can we try that? Mm -hmm. Can I try that? <laughs> I want to experiment. <laughs> yeah. I want to experiment. Hi. Banana, hi. Banana, how are you? I'm good. How much is this banana? This one? Six and seven? Yes. Six and seven of what? Six and seven thousand. Six, six thousand. Six thousand. Seven and eight. So if I want to buy the whole of this, how much are you going to sell it to me? You are going to give me six. I'm going to give you six? Yes. Okay. Five pack? Why is it? Why not five? No. I don't have four five. Really? Are you, sure are, you sure, are you sure banana is so expensive these days? Yes. <laughs> what am I, would you prefer buying this or the other type? Because we have uh, the other small ones and these big ones. But I, I want a big one. You want a big one? Okay. Yeah. Six. I pay? I pay? Okay. I don't have Ugandan shilling. Okay. Jeez. Hey! Yeah, five, is this Ugandan shillings? Yes, Ugandan shillings. Ha! I think I. Ah, 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 no. I, I, I give you I give you this one. Ha! I, I don't have one. See. I don't have 1,000? You take this one first. I think I mistakenly dropped my money. Really? No, not here, by the way. Somewhere? Yeah. Of course we need 1,000. Yeah, and but she, she'll nine, give me, she'll give me like that. No. Ah, we are friends now. No. <laughs> we are not friends. Yes. It's business. Yes. Hey, I love that. We are not friends, it's business. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not friendship <laughs> in business. Know, so. Okay, give me 5,000 because I don't have, I don't, I don't have. Uh, I give you for five? Yeah, give me for five. Is it on? Oh. I thought I was not recording. <laughs> what, what happened? Did you take anything out? No, she had to reduce to give you the ones of 5,000. How did she reduce it? Actually, she changed it, but she gave us this one. Ah. It's not right. No, 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 no. The one's right one. No, no, give me. Hey, oh. I, no, no. The one's right one. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want that. No, 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 no. See, 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 see. Replacement. See, no Let replacement. Oh my goodness, how, how was this replaced? Exactly. He's going to pay you. Please give him what you want. I have for six. That one bunch is five But why would you give you bananas that are not ripe? No, 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 I, I, I picked this, I picked this. You talk to him. No, 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 no. See, I, I can't believe they changed my banana. So this is 6,000. So I give you 1,000. I didn't say, like I told you, you have to take some off. But if you don't want to take it off, don't give me a new banana. Wow. Can't believe that I'm just here. I'm just here, my banana has been swapped. I know. <laughs> it's really crazy. But uh, you see that the, the market arrangement is like that everywhere in Africa, you know that? Yeah, I wanted to ask you, yeah. is it the same like in Ghana? Of oh, course, the same way. Yeah. Is, is it the same? same? Is that uh, the same way they organize? See the way they've arranged the tomatoes? Yeah. It's exactly the same way we arrange tomatoes in Ghana. Really? The onions, everything, the eggs. Whoa. If, even. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's exactly the same way. Really? Okay, let's ask them. Is, does your market look like this? Yeah, let's try to ask them. In the comment section, answer. Ghana looks like this. What country are you from? And does your market just look, look like the same. this? Exactly. Mm. Does it look the same? That's what I want to know. Whoa. Oh, wow, look 
Okay. Fish. Is that like a smoked fish? Yeah. Oh my god. Ooh. Is that smoked fish? It's like a tilapia or something. Is it, from, is it from the Nile? From the Nile or like Victoria? <laughs> Victoria, I think. Huh? Aye. Is it from Victoria? Is it from Victoria? Like Victoria? Yes. How much? I don't, I don't even know. I love to buy some fish, but I don't know how much. Jamaica? How much is the fish? It's like 20,000? Can, can you give it to us? 15? 20,000, 20, yes. 20,000. 20, I, I want to I buy. I want to support your business. Even though I don't know why I'm going to take this fish. <laughs> I don't know. I take it home. Yeah. I'm, not from, I'm not from here. I cannot take this to Ghana. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool, man. Yeah. You're just gonna buy. You're shopping. <laughs> you can't come to the market and you don't get anything. And, and, sure. and, and can I tell you something? Yeah. See how she has wrapped the fish? Yeah, that's the same way. It's exactly the same way we wrap fishes in Ghana. When you buy a fish, mm. dry fish like this, they put it in a brown paper like this. Okay. So it's the same thing, guys. Same thing. Very simple. Wow. The same thing. <laughs> can, you, can you guys believe it? <laughs> if somebody ever tell me I'm in Uganda, I wouldn't believe it. You feel like you're still in Ghana? I don't know. Yeah, to be know. honest, yeah? That's how I feel right now. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So you want to carry it like that? Yeah, yeah, give me. You move it and then, like And then, like this, mm -hmm. and then you give me the black bulletin bag. Mm -hmm. I want the black one. <laughs> the black one. When it's small, it's going to smell on you. Okay, so you want to add? Yeah. No, like this is the right way. <laughs> and you put this. Wow. This is cassava, right? Yeah. Wow. And you know, like, is this plantain or this is matoke? This is matoke. So no plantain? No, there is no plantain here. This is now the matoke that they cook for food when you want to eat it as food and then you add sauce on it. Then the other one is just plantain for just smoking on there, maybe eating on the road, just like a fruit. <laughs> That's how we do it here in Uganda. So in Ghana, have you heard of fufu in Ghana? Yes. So fufu is made with cassava, cassava. and plantain. Wow. Then we pound it together. That's your fufu. Okay. So I, that's why I'm telling you that I can live here for the rest of my life. <laughs> because I have cassava, I have plantain, I have sweet Matoke, potato. You have, yeah, okay. That's the arrow roots, right? Yeah. Are, you guys the call yams. it yams. Yeah, we call them yams. Yeah. You have all of that here, man. Wow. You also, are you a fan of uh, um, Irish potatoes? I eat everything. Okay. I eat everything. But every you love fufu more. I, fufu is my favorite. <laughs> I don't so, know why I can't fufu, love fufu. Fufu, fufu is my favorite, man. Mm. Wow. See, if you ask anyone, yeah. no one will tell you that you are in a different place, man. It's like I feel like I feel like I'm in Ghana. It's okay. What's up, bye. Good. Hello. I, I heard you spent three years without food. Yeah, it's been long, it's really even two non frame years, long time. It's not that food because they are used mix so with the cola, oil, 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 the other oil of the animals I'm not enjoying. So what, so what do you eat? I used to eat the granny, Nazis, salmon, grand cask, smoked cassava, some wheat, some wheat, some white porridge, and whatever like. Like that. Did you just say some wheat? Yes, I'm always some wheat. I'm using wheat. Do you speak Patwa? Yeah, man. I do. Huh? Yeah, man. You, you greet your brothers from Jamaica. Yo, big up members. So right. It's gonna die. You good? Are you crossing? Yes, we are talking. Ah, no, you can't cross now. Uh, we, no, no, let's ah. cross. <laughs>
Hey! Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, if I don't die in Kampala, yeah. I will not die anywhere else again, man. No, now from uh, Nakasero Market, uh, we are stopping downtown. Hi! Hey! Ah! ah. Hi! <laughs> Yeah, hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm great. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, now, I, I, I was told that this is the busiest part of Kampala. Yes. Is that true? Yes, that's true. And uh, we are going to experience the organized chaos. We are talking organized about. chaos. Organized chaos. We are talking about. <laughs> so in downtown, we have uh, like a, we have three main uh, main things that are, that are uh, symbolic uh -huh. or that are, you should visit. You should pay to visit, it. and that is tax park. That, uh, we have two tax park. We have uh, the old tax park and the new tax park. Okay. We have, we have Chikubo. What's the, Chikubo? Bus, Chikubo business center. Okay. It's where the most business are, uh -huh. and uh, we have. Uh, uh, or we know market three places three places here in downtown so we are going to to, to i'm going to take you through now, all now, of now, them. now i get it yeah when we we're up there it was uptown yes that's uptown and now this is the downtown this is downtown whoa yeah so crazy out here man yes oh this is a no, taxi now the taxis park now what you see there it is the old tax park okay yes so let, let me take you so we have to cross here. Have to Be cross. careful, please. This is the most chaotic city. Ah! Wait a minute! Yeah? Huh? Wait, 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 wait! Oh my uh, goodness! Yes, we have to cross. Jeez! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are sloping from here. Sloping from here, take your time. Yes, yes. You are working with uh, me, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. Now I think, I think the... Wow! I just, I just want to be here. Yeah, no, but this is the wrong part. The wrong to, part? Yes. Up to pass here. Jeez. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. I don't, I don't want to go down. Look what, look at this. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. This is the now. This is the old tax park. So th this is like where the taxis park, right? Yes. So you guys caught this taxi. Yeah. The, 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 now, now, if you want to, the, this one. Uh, if you want to go like uh, somewhere nearby, nearby Kampara, mm -hmm. can only come. But uh, those uh, the cars from uh, that are going long distances or on the highways, they are mainly in a tax park. They are mostly. However, even this uh, tax park, we have those uh, taxes that are going in and uh, in high distances. Wow. Yeah, but uh, mainly nearby Kampala. Yeah, this one for nearby Kampala. Now let's stop down there. You see, are you going to? Are you going to pass here? Of course. Uh-huh. Ah, that Thank looks you. like jollof, man. Uh, here we call it plow. Plow? Yeah. Do you want to test it? Let me test it. Uh-huh. Let's go there. Why don't buy from here? You buy from here? Yes. Okay. You have to go down to buy? Okay, give us for two. For two thousand. Two thousand, two thousand. What's he putting in there? Ah! What's that? Uh, a Is cabbage. Yeah, that's... Okay. Let me give you that money. Wait, uh, you have that money? Yeah, I have a... That's 2,000. It's 2,000. Yes. Take. Okay. Wow. All right. So... No, so I, that's, that's right from I just want to test it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now... Yeah, they give you even the spoon. Test it. It is really nice. This is what we enjoy here in Uganda. Are you testing the Ugandan food? <laughs> is this Ugandan food? Yes. Huh? Is it there in Uganda? You make it yourself? Did you make it? Really? Is, it, is this your business? How long have you been doing it? One to two years. All right. Okay, last one. Mm. 
Thank you. Now we are in a old tax park. Yeah, you can inquire the prices of different prices. Uh, nah. It's not so expensive. It's not so expensive. Uh, that, this is where so these are individuals that owns this taxes. Yeah. Even if you uh, look at us, mm. uh, you can uh, manage this type of transport. Wow. If I should turn this camera yeah, for yeah. you guys to see the number of people in front of me, you guys won't believe it. So, so this is a business, business part? Yes, yeah. this is a business part, Maya. What do you think so far? Because when you were up there, it looked very nice, organized and corporate. But tell me how you feel. You can see for yourself right now. Can I say it's more chaos than I imagined? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's Bro, what we're talking it's about. Organized chaos. <laughs> why, why is it organized chaos? <laughs> huh? Have you seen anyone being locked? <laughs> no. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> what will you say about the busiest part of Kampala? I'm here to show you the busiest part actually. It's right over there. That corridor. You mean that you mean this is not the busiest? No. no. Okay, this is not the busiest. I want to see what is that side. How? Yeah. yeah so you, you may flip the camera and show people what's here, but this is called Chikubo, so we have to be enter very careful. Yeah, but this is oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The this is like sure China within China. China within Uganda, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. China. Wish China was in Uganda, but uh, I don't know if it is coming from China. What? Yeah. Do you have something like this in Ghana? No. No. Now let me surprise you. We have Congolese who cross the border. Yeah. To come and buy things wholesale from here. Yeah. Because here in Uganda it's a bit cheaper than buying in Congo. Yes. Congolese, South Sudanese, uh, Rwanda, the border is not the the trade is not as low. Do, do Kenyans come here? Kenyans yeah. are well obviously. Wow. Actually, there are many Congolese who are buying things from the, just right here. And these are owned by individuals like Ugandans, right? Yes, they yes. are. Good enough, most of all these soldiers are Ugandans. I, I read on the internet that there are shops for individuals. So many Ugandans love to start business, but they don't get a chance to celebrate one year anniversary of the business. Is that true? So, yeah, because we should have like three small businesses okay. that are trying to juggle them at the same time. I feel like I feel like this is the place that and, millions and are being made. Man. Are coming yeah, from yeah, yeah. Australia. They are yeah, having stores in Australia. Millionaires here. Yeah. Very many. Because you know, like they have money here. People, yeah, a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah. you know, I watch you. Yeah, wow! School as well. Thank yeah. you, man. Yeah, you, you, no, you see, that's quite you watch me. <laughs> so, which means you're doing business here? Yeah, yeah I'm doing business. Here. Question, 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 question. They said this is the business place in Kampala. Yes, this, this is what called actually in Ghana business. Place. Really? Yes, this is the place that holds. From there down up to that side, this is what holds Uganda. This is what holds Uganda. Yes, because everything, whatever thing that comes up from abroad, stops here, then it's sold. Of course you can. So this is the business. Are you, so you, you own a warehouse here? No, I don't. I'm just a supplier here. A supplier here? Yes. See, I, I was told that this is the place that millions are being made in a day. Yes, yes. Or in hours? Millions? In hours. Billions. Billions. Ha! Huh. So the, ti the title of this video is The Place in Uganda Where Billions Are Being Made. Yes. <laughs>
is the ball of what? Africa, the best country. Go inform the whole world that they should come and visit Uganda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> The street of Kampala, yes. what is the major source of transportation? Yeah, for your borders. Only for the borders? Only for your borders. Uh, uh, apart from, you, don't, you guys don't have taxis? We something? have taxis, we have private cars, but this one is more convenient. It reaches you where you want to go at the very, very shortest time possible. Wow. Yes. And is, is it affordable? It's, it's, for... it's very affordable because even people who have cars, if they don't have, if they run broke, they use borders. <laughs> oh! Yes. What are you doing? I'm, I'm making the border stop. Oh, border the same camera. way. Ah, because they seen the camera, they won't stop for you. Don't stop. Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, that's correct. Someone has stopped. It's a hassle stopping them as well. It's a, it's a hassle stopping them. Why? Yes, especially when you have a camera. They are ah. camera shy. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> we finally got some. Yeah. So we are here. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, here it's most time saving and economic saving. Economic saving? Yes. Okay, how uh, far are we going? Now we are going to the Gaddafi Mosque. The Gaddafi Mosque? Yes. Where is it? Well, it's uh, just a few meters away from here, from Kampala City. Oh, yes. my goodness. So here we are at Ham Shopping Ground. Okay. Yes. This is a Ham Shopping Ground. Yes, Ham Shopping Ground. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. So you realize here, there is a. What's up, food. man? <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead, you're saying something. Yeah, here yeah, it's time consuming and it's economic it's economically safe and reliant, reliable. Okay. Yeah, there's no other means of transport and we so used to apart from this one. And 90% of the Ugandans use this one. Even so people who have cars instead use this one and they use cars on the weekends, maybe they're going out to their parties and everything. But here we use for our borders. Uh, like especially low income earners and even the high income earners at a certain time they use for borders. Wow. Yeah, about to an other African country because you don't travel so much. Yeah, um, when you go to certain countries they have it. Yes. Uh, but not everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> not everywhere. Oh, this yeah. place for border is crazy, man. It's crazy. Incredible, man. Yes, yes. yes, it used to be a forest with impalas. Do you know impalas? Of course. But still, people were coexisting with the impalas, those animals. Yeah. That's where we get the name Kampala. Yes. When the Bazungu came here, the colonialists, the white man, they were like, Oh, impala. Why don't we say Kampala? And then we got the name of the city. <laughs> Kampala. Yeah, yes. man. Well, I've seen a, a beautiful mosque behind us. Yeah, yes, man. so that yes. is Gaddafi Mosque. Gaddafi Mosque. Yes, so this mosque was started by Idi Amin Dada, who was one of our presidents. And then it was completed by Mama Gaddafi, who was a former president of Libya. And here we go. In this in this mosque is that it's known as one of the largest mosques in East Africa. And it can hold up to 15,000 worshippers. And of course also, as, we, as you see this, it's one of the mosques whereby you can view the whole city. Like the whole entire city when you get on top of it. Yes. Yeah, so when you get on the top of the mosque, there is a very long point, it's called the minarets. You climb up over 200 stairs and go all the way up. When you stand there, you're able to see all the hills, all the seven hills where Kampala is built. It has been 
an incredible day filming with Ugandan YouTubers and it has been amazing, man. Thank you all so much for showing me your city. You're welcome. Wow. And can we all welcome them to Uganda? Welcome, welcome to Uganda! Uganda. Happy to see you, man. Wow. Yeah. Where are you from? From South Sudan? South Sudan? Ah, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> ah, I know it's South Sudanese, man. Good yeah, to see you, man. To see you. I'm happy you're here. Oh, wow. You, you have a message for Africans? Mm, yeah, maybe I can tell you more. Oh. <laughs> What's the message for Africans? But don't I don't need to get fed you first. I'm so nervous, right? You're so nervous. Come yeah. on. <laughs> No, no, no. What's your message for Africans watching us? Uh, you just need to love one another. That's peace. That's what I can say. Nothing but something. Yeah. But I like what you're doing. You're doing a great work for Africa. Thank you. Uh, Thank what you. you're doing is being admired by so many. We wish you get the platform to speak to many people when we show them that we have a lot that we can give others and the way you're doing. So I'm really so inspired by your work and I appreciate it. Keep doing it. Africa loves you. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so wow. Much. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah. What? I, I want to tell to the next generation that this is the guy who brought Africa to the world. The champion of taking Africa to the world. I love that, man. That is, I mean, changing the narrative of Africa. It's Africa, very important. Yeah, it was very important. You started it, you championed it, and we're following your steps. Oh. <laughs> That. You know I'm around. I didn't know. You didn't know. I, I last uh, heard that you had a birthday here, and that was all. Ah, yes. nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching I'm my videos. To see you. Oh, I'm her boss, the wife. She's in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's me moving around the city. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your ride. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh. Ah, man. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to see you, man. Well done. Thank you. All right. Greetings to Trudy. All right, I will. Anyone who sees me will definitely send greetings to Trudy. Wow.